What's up, guys? It's Kim Dragna from the Grindhouse Radio, and you are watching the Kate Fox Show. Make sure you watch her on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. You're watching the Kate Fox Show. I'm Kate Fox, and I am here with Louise Pallady of Sunny and Dew. And Louise, Sunny and Dew is an all-natural beauty product line. Correct. And this is your line. Yes. It is handmade by me. Handmade. Yes. All of it. All of it. Everything. I mean, because, um, you know, we look, I came in, I looked at everything that you've got here, and you, you're a busy lady. Mm -hmm. Yes, I uh, start at 4 a.m. in the morning. You start at 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. And you also, okay, so we are also sitting in dresses and colors. Correct. So you start making your products and everything at 4 a.m., but you also come here to work. Right. I work from 4 to 8 on the natural products, and then I get in the shower, and I come here, and I work until we're done here. Wow. You're, uh, I know I just said it, you're a busy lady, and you have, you have some wonderful products here. Uh, yeah, I, I love what I do. I do. I love what I do. Why did you start to do it? It started originally, the hair salon was um, my father-in-law and my, myself. We ran the salon for about 17 years. We passed away. And um, I decided that I wanted to do something in his name. So, Sonny was my father in law's name. And Do is my mother in law's name. Really? So, yeah, so it kind of went together. And then I figured, oh, I need something for a retirement business. You know, I'll just do this in the salon. I have access to women. All day long. Right. So I started making soaps and creams. And that's all it was supposed to be. Was just, <laughs> just, really? Just, so just, just the soaps so and, and creams. Oh, right. Okay. That's all it was supposed to be. So I would make the <laughs> and I would come in and I'd slap it on all my customers for up the day. I'm like, hey, try this. So I just made this. And some of them were good. Some of them loved it. And they would go home and call me up. Get some of that. So that's kind of how it started. It started in little glass jars from the dollar store. And, you know, little bags of soap, I would say. And then it grew into body butter, sugar scrubs, and soaps. And then one day I said, you know, I'm going to try to learn how to make candles. So then I uh, did that, and then it went from that to doing fairs and doing riverhead pop ups and tangling outlets. So you had to do that whole thing, right? I just, I just, I just had to going, you know, and I went um, right to store out the Tanger Outlet for the holidays, we do a pop-up, we're actually in the outlets, um, we don't know the store we get until we get closer, but yeah, we do it, we set it up, like it's a whole Sony and View store, um, it, it, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of fun, how do you learn how to make this stuff, well, I have, um, my hairdressing license, which is, there's a lot of theory. A lot of people think that hairdressers don't study. Um, yeah, you know, it's, that it's ain't not, in my <laughs> skill set, <laughs> so <laughs> I give you all the but there, <laughs> there is so much theory in, in becoming a hairdresser in chemistry and all of those things. I actually am a colorist, not just a hairdresser. I'm a so there's a lot of theory in it. You have to know what to mix, how much to mix. So it was kind of easy for me to learn how to take, you know, three parts shea, one part aloe, like on the okay. pea, blend it simply. So it was a little bit easy. You know, in the beginning, I, I mean, it wasn't easy in the beginning because I did have a, probably a couple of hundred dollars worth of garbage that I just really put from this book. I got cottage cheese, you know, that would have been garbage. But, you know, I mean, and from there, it, it's, you kind of learn as you go. And you learn what works, what doesn't work. Um, and you learn shortcuts. But you know, I haven't really had a mess with my recipes. From I got lucky enough that like maybe the sixth or seventh garbage recipe, I hit on one and people will call me and left and right home. Yeah, that's good. Can you get me a little bit out of there? So it went from there. That's really great. Yeah. That's fun. Now, do you create all of your own recipes or do you sometimes like look to get an idea? Sometimes, well I do do a 
lot of research. So sometimes what I will do is I'll go online and, and you know, I'll do for Facebook and main section. So a lot of times, you know, while spot stories, there are a lot of a lot of the companies that I deal with do have a blog where they'll come up with a recipe, you know, and then I'll take that recipe and I'll do a little tweaking to make it my own, you know, my scents or my own, they're mixed together. I play mad chemist at home. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun and I do love it. You know, and women need it. Yeah. So it's kind of all tied in together. Absolutely. And so. I was just going to do you, okay, when you're going in and you start mixing something, say, mm -hmm. do you have in your head, oh, I want it to smell like this or I want it to, well, I'm assuming you, you, do, you do you go in with a specific thing in mind? Like, I want it to smell like the beach. Or so, sometimes I do. So like I knew I wanted being on the land and I knew I wanted a fish. Never in a million years would I have said that that would be my number one self. In a million years I would have never said that. Um, but you know, sometimes I'll just go in with like an open slate. Like I'll take, mm, I'll take a little bit of this one and a little bit of that one, you know, three drops of maybe lavender or two drops of orange and I'll just and then I'll kind of just walk around with it and smell it and leave it for a little while. Because sometimes it, it originally will smell good to you, and then you know, like, yeah, no, that doesn't smell good. Uh, so, and then just what I found just in doing this for six and a half years now is sometimes what I think smells good, people don't actually <laughs> like. <laughs> just as a rule of thumb, and it's funny if I like it, my husband goes, oh, boy, here we go again. What is this going to do now? Yeah, just what I like, sometimes people don't like. So, as a rule of thumb, I, you know, I bring it in and I let people smell it. Like, I have my full scents over there, or up on the top, because sometimes I'll open them, because before the pandemic, I would open them with, you know, wooden spoons and right. you know, now, you let people, now, I have to let people just sniff it. That's about as far as you can. Okay. Uh, and you said six and a half years? Six and a half years. Yeah, that's what you years now. Seven years. And you started with? I started with soaps and body butters. And now you have soaps, body butters, sugar scrubs. Sugar scrubs. So I can. I have uh, deodorants. I have a full makeup one. Base care. I have a bug spray. A bug spray? Oh, don't bug me. <laughs> um, what else do you have? I have a sunburn cream. Okay. I have shower gel. You have everything. Pretty, you much, have everything. pretty much. I mean, there's not much that I don't have. Or at one time I haven't tried. You know, sometimes I, I make a product, it's a really good product. But it, maybe it's just not locking it correctly. You know, sometimes you need to take a step back and just reevaluate the product. I mean, I made masks a while back, facial masks. They were great. I mean, they were probably the best thing I ever made, but I didn't lock it. So I pulled them back and now I'm working on relaunching them. Well, you just answered my question. <laughs> Because, yeah, because if you see something works, right. maybe the time isn't right, maybe so, well, which is very smart. Right. You know, it, it, it is. It's sometimes it's about the time, and sometimes it's about the way, you know, it's about the way I walk. I don't always have the best approach because I'm, you know, thinking, oh, this is going to be good. This is, this is perfect. And then you put it out there, and you're like, okay, I guess that was, it wasn't necessarily a failure. It was just I needed to pull it back and worry about it. So, I, I mean, I have done you know, several products. So, for the better, and so I go, okay, this is just not going to be good. Okay. Which is fair enough. Mm -hmm. um, okay. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back.
had, had told me was you won Best of Long Island three years in a row. Yes. 17, 18, and 19. 17, 18, and 19. Yes. That's, I mean, that's something. Because that's, people are voting for you. Yes, that you did. Absolutely amazed me. The first year I was jumping for Durham. This, I was like, oh, it's so great. And then when it came time to vote again, I said, you have to go. Yeah, I don't win. <laughs> <laughs> so we said, oh, well, you won, you know, and then, then we won again. And I was like, oh, my God. So, and then the third time, he's like, oh, it's a, tri a, a trilogy now. That's, that's wonderful. And, and just, that's a testament to how many people like you, how many people like what you're doing. And you are growing. You were telling us about some of your best sellers. And you have a couple of them here. So this one is the Day at the Beach Moisturizer. It's a moisturizing body butter. Okay. It's made with shea, aloe, vitamin E, and blended essential oils. Everything is hand poured, poured. everything is made in the USA. Everything is made in your kitchen. It's well, not really my <laughs> not kitchen. Really. I, um, kind of when I started, it wasn't my kitchen, but what I did was I converted my dining room oh. into 14 feet of cabinets and granite, and um, I have vats now that I make wow. things in. Instead of a double boiler on the stove, I make it in a vat now. Um, and I took all of my garage and my basement because what started as dollar store drawers. Um, now I get my drawers from Ohio and I get them in 10,000. I get cases that total 10,000 and I get them delivered. I take up half my basement, of course. <laughs> so, okay. But this one is our number one seller, it's Day at the Beach. Day at the Beach, yeah. number one seller. Um, and then we have this one, which is coming on pretty strong. This is our body spray. This is also Day at the Beach. It's a natural body spray. And for people who want the smell to last a little bit longer, this is an excellent, excellent spray. Okay. And these are products, and in case you didn't figure that out, I'm sure you have, but, um, and I love this little thing. This I love is, all of these things. This is my um, spring, summer, Spring summer quarantine experiment, and it's shower whip. This is called. This is a shower whip, and what it is, it's. Um, I did the whole line right after summer fruity drinks. So I have a mojito, a strawberry a margarita. I have um, a, a Bahama Mama. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is shea butter with soap that's mixed together, and it's a creamy soap to so use it in the shower. Um, it's an excellent very moisturizing and it smells awesome. It does smell good. Awesome. It smells very good. Alright, so then we have... You also have, like, I know you have bug spray, which yes. we did not put up here, I don't think. Mm -hmm. But you do have a bug spray. You have a bug, bug spray. Repellent. It's called, um, don't bug me. <laughs> <laughs> it is um, all natural. It's safe for children over the age of three. I don't like anybody under the age of three to use it. Just personal just preference. Case. Okay, yeah, makes you know, sense. You know, even though it's all natural, you really don't want them if they put it on their hands and put it in their mouth. So I, I recommend that for over the age of three. Okay, okay. Um, and then we have... Um, which, now, this is the, what you have your hand on, I believe. That's the sanitizer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm squinting. Yes, that would be the sanitizer. <laughs> But that's, and you created the hand sanitizer when? Uh, this was during quarantine. I during had, quarantine? Uh, a lot of time on my hands. And I needed to try to make some money. Because, you know, we were all shut down. Nobody, you know, I do maybe 50, 60 fairs a season. I have yet to do a one, and they get canceled day by day by day. Um, so I had to do something. And but what you did was smart because, see, I like to, sometimes I tell people, I'll, I'll say things that are my pandemic positive. Because while we were put into a situation where we didn't necessarily plan to be or want to be, sometimes there are positives that come out of that. So this could be your pandemic positive. This, this was definitely a positive. I mean, you know, I had a chance to do a lot of thinking, changing of labels. You know, so it was good. It was a good... Switch. A little too long, but it was a good switch. Uh, 
It's still too long. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I do agree with that too. It's, it's definitely been trying for most business owners. Um, you know, yes. I have two businesses and as far as any kind of financial help that was known, so I had to try to figure something out. But you did. I did. I did. I did. I had, you know, kind of just like a little needed rest. You want to call what I did rest. No, <laughs> it, it was a little bit of downtime because you were still working, clearly. Oh, yes, yes. But no, you I weren't was, here all the time, and so you, yeah. Right. I was trying to figure out emails. I was trying to keep customers engaged, let them know that we were still there. We were taking all precautions. You know, so we were definitely still told, like, so this very day, every chair gets wiped down, every surface gets wiped down. So yeah, this is an excellent product too. Did you smell this? I don't know if I tried to. I like it. And the, oh, it, it's nice. It's, it's, yeah. Some of those have like the greasy feeling or the weird feeling. This it, is nice. It is also CBC compliant. It is 70% alcohol mixed with alcohol gel. So it is a sanitizer, so it is safe. It, it, it adheres to all CBC. It's products. not just a cutesy product. No, no It serves the no. purpose that, it's it, correct. that it says it does, which is huge. Right. And now you also, and, and I, I hope you don't mind me telling this little story, because you were telling us while we took a break about an unexpected, we'll say promotion, <laughs> that you received from um, a gentleman named Dave Portnoy. Dave Portnoy. And apparently you sent a product to him. Yes, I actually sent. Um, he was doing <laughs> this, this thing. It's too so good a story, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it, he was doing unboxing. So anybody who's familiar with Dave Portnoy, um, he had hundreds, if not thousands of boxes each night. And my son and my husband were avid watches of him. And I sat down and I did watch also. I, I can't say I didn't. So I sent him a soy candle and a moisturizing day at the beach body butter. And it was just... It, he it, liked it. Yes, he did. He said it was delightful. 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 Yeah, so, and we made the highlight reel. It was actually a pick-me-up. Because, you know, sometimes you start kind of feeling down and you're like, oh, what am I doing, you know. And, and I have to tell you, it was, it was delightful. It was, it's <laughs> it was like an delightful. affirmation. Correct. It, and yeah. sometimes you needed that. And, you know, I actually did. I, I didn't realize how much I needed it until it happened. Which is wonderful. And, I mean, you, you reached this man. He reached people who decided they wanted to try your stuff. So, I mean, it's a win-win. Really? It was, it was definitely, it was an excellent, it, it really was. It was a lot of fun. A lot of work, but a lot of fun. I had fun with it. Well, well that's right. You, you had to do all the work then after you got right, orders, right. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those, those candles were definitely um, a challenge, you know, trying to keep up with the amount of orders that I was amazing. But amazing. you did it. I did it. You yes, did it. I did. I did. And then another pandemic positive. Yes, no, right? that definitely was. It, so, it was entertaining. I enjoyed every second of it www.sunnyanddew.com Louise Palut, Sunny and Dew. Mountain Dew except Sunny and Dew. Ow. One last paper cut in the road right there. Probably not one last, but one last unboxing paper cut. Sunny, oh, this is what smelled good. Delightful. Sunny and Dew. What is this? A candle? Fuck right it is. It smells fucking great. I need candles. Is this another candle? Day at the beach. I told you it smelled like the beach. Did I tell you it smelled like the beach? Moisturizer. Sunny and dew. Hey, Dave. Thanks for the entertainment. Support local business. My name is Luis. I am the owner of Sunny and Dew. Uh, all natural skin and beauty company. My husband and I make all products by hand. Inside we gave a natural soy candle called Day at the Beach. An extreme moisturizer. I told you. If you like the smell of the beach, this is fucking smells like it. Sunny, it's S O N N Y N D E W dot com. And when I tell you it smells like the beach, it smells like the beach. Now, you, when did you open up? Because, of course, we're sitting in Tresses and Colors, yes. which is where you have your shop, we'll say. Um, when did you open? We opened August 1st of 1996. So 24 years ago on August 1st. Wow. 
Mm-hmm. Longevity. Yes. We have been here. We have been through it all. Now I can't say we've been through a pandemic. Yes, yes, you have. Yes, you have. And but let me tell you, I, when we walked in here, I mean, spotless, of course. Yes. And the, the, we are sitting, you know, a, a distance away. We are not six feet, but we are a distance away. Everyone was masked. The, cost, the clients, everyone that was in here when we walked in, completely masked. Um, and thank you for, because we can't really do this with a mask yeah. on, otherwise we'd be shouting and yelling. Right. And But but I, I really wanted to talk to you about these products because also something that's been changing is people want natural things. They want something that they know isn't gonna hurt them, you know? and. None of this I, is going to hurt them. No, this is all natural. Most of my products are vegan. Um, they are not ever, ever, ever tested on animals. Um, they are just good for your products. And people have to realize that skin care is food for the skin. Yes, it is. This, this is not a product that I take somewhere and have somebody make for me. I make every batch. Every batch is made. And that's something too, is that you just said it. Every batch is you. Right. And, and you know, I love what I do, down to the smallest detail. Like sometimes I'll just change a label, and it'll make me happy. Just to just to give a different one. As and it should, it should because it is. It's all you, and so it's carrying. It's an extension of you, of your philosophy, of of, of it's your handiwork. It's everything. So now, what would you like to uh, understood? We're in a different time, so you, I know you're waiting for the festivals and everything else to open up. However, that aside, what would you like to see happen? Do you, do you like? Do you have a, a we'll say a two-year plan, or are you just sort of taking it as it comes? Uh, no, I always have a plan. My plans have plans for plans. I like that. I like it. <laughs> You know, I would love to be in boutique shops. Um, I have the smaller point places. I have several that I'm in, and a couple of salt caves, you know. Um, you know, I like, listen, my business is small, I control it, I make it. I like to work with the people that are going to be selling. I don't want to just put it somewhere so it can sit on the shelf and not need to be dusted. I want it in the hands of people who care as much about their clients as I can come. So to me, that's important. I mean, I would love to be in as many wholesale accounts as, as I can. I want the product to grow. I want people to learn what they put on themselves. It's, it's important. It's important. It's important. You know, I don't want to mention or bad mouth any other products because that's just not me. Um, but you can feel the difference from a good product. Of course. To a product that was machine made. My products are made for me. I sell them to my customers that I've had customers for 25, 26 years. Some are even longer. So if I say, hey, listen, I got this new product here, I give it to me. Because you know, they trust me. They know that I'm just not, I'm not trying to sell just a product. They trust me. Yeah. And that's, that's big. I mean, I have customers that I have for, I, I can't even tell you for how long. It's crazy. Like when I think about it, you know, I've seen her go to the eighth grade dance. I've seen her, <laughs> <laughs> really, it's kind of scary. Eighth grade dance. I've seen her go to her junior prom or senior prom. She got married. Now I'm doing her kids' hair. I'm like, okay, now, you know. But you have a relationship. I do. And, and that's you know huge. It, whether it's for Sony and Do or they're my care clients, they're more than just a client. They're more than just, you know, making money. I learned a long time ago I was never going to be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> I love what I do. I love my customers. I do. Yeah, I do. And I think that they all know. And, and that's why they're so loyal. Right, because you are the loyalty. Right? And that's, you know, something you carry on into everything you do. I, I try. I really do. I, I go above and beyond. I do. I go above and beyond. Let me ask you something. If people want to look you up, where do, where do they look? Okay. So you can either come to the to the store. 
um, presses and colors, and this is on um, 197 Carlton Avenue. Thank you. In East Islip, make sure you put East Islip in. Or if they, you know, with the you're not local, right? Or the pandemic and they're afraid to come in, they can order online at um, www.sunnyandu.com. Um, now, is it Sunny A N D or is it Sunny Ampersand? No, it's the letter N. So it's Sunny S O N N Y, the letter N D E W dot com. S O N N Y N w.com um, and they can call me you know any any questions they have if they have a question about a product you know what I think would be better for them they can email me they can call me and you have a Facebook page also we do have a Facebook page we have an Instagram and we have a TikTok everything can be found on you the website TikTok? I, don't know, I, guess. I don't really know what I'm doing with it but I'm trying <laughs>
presses and collars. Go to the website, place an order. Thank you, 20% off. And um, just give it a try, because the products are wonderful. Louise is wonderful. Mm -hmm. and, Thank you. And, and the products are Louise. Try Louise. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for you know coming and just showing me interest in the product. Oh, absolutely, it. we are. And but try Sunny and Dew. 